Om Shakti Para Shakti. Divine greetings from me, Shridika Pale, and the rest of the team. You are watching Sadhana The Inward Path right here on ACBC3. On the show today, we explore the spiritual benefits of the Hanuman Chalisa and the benefits of yoga for wellness and the Holy Tirukural too. We also visit the historic Springfield Siva Subramanya Temple. Atop a hill overlooking the greater Springfield area stands an incredible testament to the dedication, determination and devotion of those treasured souls who came before us. The Springfield Siva Subramanya Temple is a labour of love handed down by the humble market gardeners to future generations. We visited the iconic temple during the annual Amman prayer to find out more. We're 70 years in existence this year, and uh, we started from Amul beginnings, from down at the bottom of a uh, foxglove place with a small uh, mud building. But the farmers within the, uh, the area and the community got together and they found a need for a better uh, facility. They acquired this premises, and it was a lot of hard work putting the structure together. This place is called Springfield simply because there was a lot of spring water here and it was prone to flooding. Uh, if we go back, uh, I think it was in 1976 when we had those massive floods, but here the temple stood by without a problem. This was a rock. So every step we took was a step in the forward direction. And we really need to acknowledge from the time that the first stone was broken up until now, it has been dedication and it's been hard work. Uh, the market gardeners used to uh, uh, grow the, uh, the vegetables and all the produce and take it down to the early morning market by uh, donkey carts at that stage and they used to sell the, the vegetables there and then then they found a need for a, a place of worship and then they acquired this land from the council and the market gardeners all together they uh, put up the, the, the temple, our main temple there and then they built the, our Amman temple here. And it's a lot of dedication and hard work and sacrifice which eventually paid off, you know. We are blessed. It's the only temple that's on the hilltop, you know, and uh, it overlooks the whole area. And basically, the, 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 the power within that organization, within the temple, spreads out to the community here. And it offers protection. The main temple, which we call the Siva Subramani Temple, where we all are, we have all our deities, our Ganesha, our Shiva. Shiva is the presiding deity, and Muruga, Narayana, Lakshmi, Saraswati, and our Navagargas. And uh, we are in the process of uh, building a shrine for Hanuman Murti. That's also on its way. Uh, and then we have a separate, like we have, we are now dedicated to the mother. The one person in your life that you can depend on is your mother. Can you imagine the, the amount of dedication a mother serves you? you know, when you have your mother, you must respect her, you must value her. You'll only regret it if you don't value her when she's gone. And, and, and this is what we say, fail to realize, is that the amount of dedication the mother gives you and the amount of respect we give to her. Can you imagine how much dedication the Divine Mother gives us? Every year when it comes to this time of the year, we get all hyped up, all ready to receive the mother's blessing and she gives it to us abundantly, you know, and we look so forward, it's so much of vibrations in this place, 
It's unbelievable, and the power of the mother is unbelievable. We have other ladies and devotees where we all get together, make stuff for the padil, and we bring it to the temple. Then after 8 o'clock in the morning, we leave from here, we take all our garagons, we walk down the road, right to the bottom, to the ground, where places are located for us in the ground there. We go there and then the garagams are left down and we start with the prayer at the bottom. So we start with the Kalasam prayer, thereafter our Yagam prayer, and then as soon as everything is done, we proceed from there and we come back to the temple, we go around the temple, and then the Garagams come and we leave it inside the temple. Thereafter, the ladies get together and we put the Padil outside, we, we call it Kumbam, we put the Kumbam outside, and once that's ready, and then we start with that morning prayer. We run a, an organization that caters for the broad spectrum of the Indo community, the Tamil, the Telugu, the Hindi speaking, because we find that uh, worship shouldn't have any restrictions. And this is what we'd like to keep it and, and hopefully we can grow from strength to strength as our PR would say. This temple means a lot to our community, not only the community of Springfield, but far and wide. Also, the people from neighboring areas around us, like Reservoir Eels, Newlands, Avoka, Pantinzil, all around us, they all support us, all devotees come to our temple for every prayer that we have. And it's immense pleasure to have all these devotees supporting us throughout the year for all our prayer that we have here and giving us in abundance for whatever we ask for for the temple.